how does Spectre work? I'll try to explain this using this proof of concept code on the left. And this code basically extracts the secret string that you see here. And when we run it, you see that the string gets extracted here. And the problem is that basically this statement here gets spec spectacularly executed disregardless of whether this branch above it is actually taken or not. And to better understand how we are then able to extract the string, I will print the value that's, that is entered into the function x and what is accessed in the array one here. And what we see then is that the array one is sometimes accessed with a value of, for example, seven here, which is smaller than array size, which is 16. But sometimes x is this huge value. And this huge value obviously is bigger than 16, so this branch shouldn't get executed. But however, what would happen if the branch would get executed? I'm just sorting the output of the program. So you can see that if you would execute this statement right here, this array one uh, offset into it of x and set x to this value, you would end up in this string at the letter t. And then obviously if you increment this value, you would get the, the next letter and so on. What then happens with this letter is it's multiplied by 512, which is the page, uh, page size. And then this is used as an index to access array two. And whatever comes back is written to the temp value. Now, once the processor realizes that his speculation that this branch may, get, may uh, get taken was wrong, he will um, disregard the results it wrote to temp or revert, revert it. However, the processor cannot undo all the um, side effects that his speculative execution has caused. And this can be used in an attack as follows. If you then after calling this function with this special value here of x that corresponds to this t, which leads to an access into array two, which corresponds to the page offset of t, you can then after calling this function uh, access each page of, pa of this uh, array two. And for example, on the first page, it will take this long. On the next page, it will take this long. On the page that corresponds to the value s, it will take this long. However, on the page that corresponds to the value that was previously speculatively ac accessed by the uh, processor in here, it will only take this long because the value is already in cache. And you can repeat this process for each of the of the letters in the string. And with this extract the string. However, before you freak out, um, let me quickly show you the measurement code. It's down here. It is a little bit more complicated than I just, just showed you. You have to take multiple measurements. Um, otherwise, the accu uh, accuracy of, of the guess wouldn't be correct. But yeah, that's basically how um, Spectre works.